Hey, Scorpio. Over the next month. Oh, wow, Phoenix, you got this a few months ago. Oh, goodness. Was that June or July? Let me just tell you right now, this is your energy. Phoenix is your energy. And I want to also draw a comparison from whatever month that was that the Scorpio reading got Phoenix as the overall for the month. It was one month, I swear, it could have been July. Okay, it may have been July. So if you want to check into that, I'll link it below. I'll try to find that video and link that because I feel like something similar is coming in for you, Scorpio, this December. So whenever you're watching this, this meeting, this meeting, wow, this reading may apply. You may have a meeting with someone in which you met in the summer or in that July month. Okay. Because not everybody's July is summer, but <laughs> In that month there, Scorpio, whoever and whatever you came in contact with, it does feel like something was premature. There's been a healing process since that time. It's coming back. Something is returning to you. Some situation that you felt very strongly attached to, something that you felt strongly was part of your life, part of your future, part of your destiny, it feels like it came in and then was ripped away or was stripped away as well. Energetically speaking, I'm actually seeing like an energy being swept, like taken from you. And it's not taken from you because that which belongs to you will always belong to you will always come to you it'll always come your way you are destined for something it's just that something else needed to be healed there was a pivot point here is what i'm seeing especially with the turtle the energy is talking about slowness is talking about healing so something has needed to heal you're going through another freaking phoenix my scorpio another one this is your energy the phoenix that rises from the ashes usually a tower happens something is you know unsettled there towers come in when we are not willing or not able not ready to create change in our life to go through a transformation that we actually need to go through according to our higher selves or spirit universe god whatever you got on your side here that's happening for you so i'm inclined to believe that sometime possibly during your season scorpio something has been in the works it's been in the making it's coming in again it's coming in again so i really do believe that that reading from i believe july i could be wrong from july has a message for you again Okay, so you're going to wrap up this year with that same freaking energy. And that energy was beautiful. It was gorgeous. I remember, I believe there was energy talking about strength, courage, bravery. I remember seeing a queen of wands. Uh, okay, I haven't seen it since it was done, to be honest, but that's what I'm, I'm recalling here. So I could, again, I could be wrong, but I'm seeing it in my mind's eye. You are moving into a very potent frequency, a potent energy, and that you're getting a second chance. You're getting another shot. You're getting a second chance. I'm also getting though that you may need to decide who you are willing to give other chances to as well and on what terms those are because it feels like you've been doing some healing. So turtles have shells. It's protection. You can hide in your shell all you want, Scorpio. Okay, but there are certain things that need to be addressed and you, you're going to know this and you're going to step into that energy as well. So something has needed to come into a healing space. I'm getting emotions here because I'm seeing tears. I'm seeing tears, teardrops, crying. Okay, so there could have been a purging process in that way. But I'm also getting physical, something about your body. It was not, uh, I don't know what, it wasn't aligned i'm being drawn to the spine here um something was not in alignment in your body and so sometimes this can be an energy blockage maybe you haven't been expressing your energy properly and you know that whoever i'm speaking to okay because that can create blockages in your chakra system your energy system your meridians all of that okay i'm hearing acupressure you're moving into healing modalities. I feel like something needs to be addressed. What are you ingesting? Think about it. What are you ingesting? Okay. 
um, food has vibration. You cannot deny this. Everybody knows that the, the food does carry a vibration. It will affect yours. So if it's not food that you're ingesting and it's some sort of poison toxin or something that is affecting you, of course, that's going to affect your aura and your frequency as well. So I do see that you're needing to make some adjustments or you were needing to. And here it is. Here's a healing process that's coming through. Your body's going to feel different from this point forward. You're healing. Something has to be let go. You need to make a sacrifice. I don't know what this is. It's something that maybe you're relying on, something you're depending on. Um, and now it's baby steps. I'm seeing you take baby steps forward, Scorpio. It's little by little. You're going to move forward. You're going to be healing. You're ready for this transformation finally. I feel like you thought you were ready. It was it July? I thought you thought you were ready in July. You thought. Okay, energetically speaking, maybe you were not. And this is just the truth. So let's see what else we have for you. And uh, yeah, see Scorpio, Mars in the sixth. You got to be kidding me. That's health. That's health energy. When you have Mars, I'm being drawn to this Phoenician vibe here as well. When you have Mars, this can indicate a lot of inflammation. It can indicate uh, gut. Okay. It can indicate something being removed from your body as well. From what I'm getting here, especially with the Scorpio influence. Maybe uh, I feel like I said this in a reading recently and I don't recall who this was. Something about gallbladder, appendix. Um, something like this. Okay. Please talk to a professional. I am a reader on a public platform. Okay. Make no mistake. I'm not giving you medical advice. However, I am seeing this here. Okay. This is, this is the energy of something being removed. There's inflammation and inflammation needs to be removed. Okay. Um, through health, some of you guys, there's an excess of energy that does need to be burnt off as well. So when we talk about six house, we talk about routines, habits, all of that. You're needing to get into that vibe here slowly, not all at once. Slowly is the key. Okay. Slowly, but surely make little tweaks, little changes, talk to a dietitian, talk to a freaking, I don't know, naturopath, a doctor, talk to a freaking therapist with the six house energy, whatever you need to do, do that. I'm also getting some sort of procedure here. There could be some sort procedure in the event that there is i'm getting mars retrograde is coming into effect with that okay so that's why this is happening because mars is going retrograde and whatever you're uh experiencing needs to be let go remove something is removed okay uh when was the last time mars went retrograde no that's not what i'm referring to this is what i'm hearing when there was a period of time when mars was direct Okay. And that is when something took effect here. So something that you either started doing or you realized you noticed something like this. Now that Mars is going retrograde, you're able to reassess this period, something that you were doing that is affecting your well-being, Scorpio. Okay. You're going back to redo it. I see you doing this here. I had intentions to pull tarot and I feel like everything's intuitive here. So bear with me. Okay. We'll see what happens next. I had intentions to pull tarot. It's just coming out though. So now that Mars is going retrograde, you, this is your time that you're going to, because Mars is one of your rulers and you need to figure something out. What, what are you doing to yourself? Are you causing inflammation in your body? Okay. Another thing here is look at the synthetic energies around you, not energies, but also cloth. Because cloth, especially when it's heated up or held against our body, certain um, synthetic fabrics, they emit chemicals and our skin is the biggest or organ. It will absorb any and everything it comes in contact with. Okay, so the, the fabrics on what we, what do they say we spend a third of our life sleeping, right? Something around that for everybody might be different, especially Scorpios. Scorpios are known to have sleep issues, believe it or not. But the fabrics that you're surrounding yourself with and the food that you are ingesting and not just food, but toxins, this could even be a beverage. 
a lot of this stuff can be like a disruptor of uh, hormones, a disruptor of the chemicals in your body, like your natural hormones and chemicals. It disrupts that and then it causes illness, it causes inflammation. So something needs to be looked at, okay? Some of you guys, you actually do need to go and get that procedure, whatever that is. Maybe you've been, I'm seeing a root here. Maybe that's something that you've been looking at or you've been thinking about and you know this. But of course, please take the advice of a professional. I'm just saying, that's my disc disclaimer but you know i'm absolutely serious when i'm delivering my messages okay so i feel like there was something else here uh finances finances scorpio with that mars in the six it does look like you're going to have a lot of competition coming through or like an angst maybe it's an angst it's an energy of wanting to establish yourself wanting to put effort into something and you need to focus on your health and well-being first and foremost balance is going to be key for you especially in December here, because your body is asking for you to pay attention, know your limits, know when to push yourself and know when to sit the F down. You need to know that because you're not very good at this. Whoever I'm speaking to, you're not very good. You either go all out and then you burn out or you dial it way back and then you get overwhelmed. So whoever I'm speaking to, you need to make some readjust. Yeah, you need to readjust some things. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. I don't care who or what you have. Any kind of Scorpio placement here will be pertinent to you. Let's see what else for my Scorpio. That's your overall. Um, a lot of competition in what you do for work. If you study, if you... Um, uh, whatever you do for career, something like this, there's going to be a lot of competition. Okay. And I see you need to slowly, but, but steadily do your, your own thing. Mind your business. Don't get involved in any kind of drama. Uh, even if it's coming in around you, because there, there may be that coming in, especially if you work in like a, a communal space, I'm seeing like a gathering of energies around you. I'm seeing actually the ants in this deck. Very interesting. There's ants. Now I'm seeing that fire ant card. Um, keep your head down about that. Okay. Because I feel like you're going to come out victorious. You will come out victorious when you start getting your health and body in check. You're going to notice you have more energy. I'm seeing a Scorpio who's going to have way more energy. Pace yourself, but also because you have so much energy, you're going to need to learn how to release it or channel it. Some of you guys, you actually need to start like walking. If you walk, if you hike, get in touch with nature, something like that. There's something that you're needing to do. Your body is begging you, begging you to take care. What else is here for my Scorpio? Something is healing. Good for you, Scorpio. I feel like this is actually victorious. You just need to make those adjustments. You're you're like good to go. Like December, you're good to go. I'm telling you. Can I get an overall, um, just one tarot card for overall? Because we already kind of completed. Yeah, see, because there's a rush, a rush of energy. Maybe there's a rush of passion that's coming in. Very excited. Three of Pentacles, lots of plans that's coming in. You can work together as a team with somebody. Things are going to move quickly from this point. Point, your healing has to happen first. Okay. So I feel like, you know, this, you're going to complete this journey. You're completing this healing, physical, mental, emotional, whatever that is, that procedure, that whatever it's done, it's over. Okay. Um, three of, I'm going to get one more now, one more on that night of wands. You have travel plans as well. I see travel plans coming through. So six of pentacles, again, balance, pay attention to that. So the page of swords, This is again, giving me food. I'm seeing food. Okay. Wow. Aquarius North node in the 11th. What is good for, what is that saying? The goose is good for the gander. I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. So what's good for you is good for a group of people. Maybe this is sharing in your passion, something that enlivens you, emboldens you sharing that with others. This could be an audience for some of you with that 11th house energy. Maybe you're coming into uh, contact with clients. Uh, this could be you're a merchant. 
I'm seeing like overseas. I'm seeing you have a far reach that's coming in. Your reach is growing. I don't know what this is for you specifically. You probably do, but I see that here. Okay. So pacing yourself exactly the hangman, you're going to see some growth, Scorpio. You will feel so strongly alive about something that you're wanting really, really badly. That's coming in in that 11th house and you're going to get it. Let's see what's going on. I want to pull you... What was I going to pull my Scorpio? Can we get the energy of Scorpio's love life? Let's see what wants to come out. If this doesn't feel right, I will set it back. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, me telling a Scorpio patience. <laughs> No, you're you're patient when you know that you need to make a, a a decision, a smart one, but you act quickly once you do. Let me see. What is the energy of Scorpio's love life in December or whenever? Diviner. Goodness, really. Really. Bard, keeper of epic tales, ballard, uh, ballads, ballard. What is a ballard? Is that a name? Okay, ballads and legends. Seer of the unseen, foresight, insight, and cosmic connection. Wow, I'm seeing your love life is actually very romantic in December. I do. And I feel like you've already seen something that is coming to fruition. I'm speaking to a Scorpio right now that you see someone, they're in your they're in your view. The connection between you and this person is very fun. It is um it's I want to say natural. The connection feels very natural that you have with the person. You bring joy to this person and I see vice versa as well. There's something about this that is very yeah, cosmic connection, very interesting something is meant to play out with a person in december yeah whether it's for a season or a lifetime whatever that is scorpio there's someone here that you're meant to have fun with with the keeper of epic tales you're meant to enjoy yourself in this connection at this time you have insight about this you've been you've seen this before have you ever dreamt of someone and then met them yeah this has happened to me many times in my life i feel like something like this is occurring whether it's this person or you you guys have dreamt of one another you guys have had this kind of cosmic connection here let me see who or what this love life is about right south node energy wow past life energy we've got gemini this could be an ex all right this may be someone that you already know whether it's this lifetime or a past lifetime again you have unfinished business with a person here i do see that so south node in the seventh this is definitely an energy of someone that you feel quite confident with however there could be elements of comfort that need to be adjusted so let's say maybe you're too comfortable with a person or they're too comfortable with you you want some sort of newness or freshness or vitality there's also an energy here talking about a balance between individuality as well as togetherness in your love life can i see about this person if anything spirit Someone could really like legends, tales, maybe they're into dragons. They could be into like, um, I'm getting the energy of like, uh, like dungeons. Is it dungeons and dragons or something like that? Maybe this is like someone who's into lore. Okay. Or this is you show me this person, please. Who is this in love life energy toward my Scorpio? You have two people here, by the way, you have a hierophant coming in. Ooh, and the lovers exactly you have a taurus gemini person coming in maybe also virgo this is the person coming into your love life in the month of december this is someone that you may have to choose or there will be a choice so eight of cups is here exactly i told you there's a, a there's an energy of individuality as well as connection and togetherness there needs to be a very good balance about this and i feel like this may be you this may be on you scorpio you may be the one who needs to figure out that balance here because all areas of your life are needing to come into balance in december especially this is about your well-being and your health it looks like do not give up on that even if you do want to spend time with a person 
person. Don't give up on your habits, your good habits, your good routines, the elements that you actually do feel very um, healthy doing. Don't give that up because you're in a relationship with somebody. Like don't give up on your friendships with people if that's something that matters to you. For example, it's an example, okay? Keep doing what you do as a person, as an individual, as well as maintain a relationship with whoever this is. This looks like something is becoming ordained right here. This is a spiritual connection with that diviner energy. There's an option to come together or to walk away. And there may be a choice in a relationship in the month. Let me see what's going on with my Scorpio. Where's my Scorpio? In this. You're the temperance. Exactly. And so temperance talks about moderation. And we've been drilling this home. Okay. Probably drilled you a new a-hole by now. You've got <laughs> Knight of Swords. Yes, very crass, I know. Uh, sue me. So you've got Temperance, Knight of Cups. Right, so Scorpio, I do feel like you're needing to go with the pace, with the flow of things. Things will be rushing, but you're needing to be very moderate with your energies, especially if this is drinking, healing. Okay, the romance of a situation. You're gonna be going between two places, two people, two things. Things are back and forth from what I'm seeing here with you. Okay, heavy Gemini energy here. Let's see who, tell us about this person. Tell us a little bit about this person. Tell us a little bit about this person that's coming in love life for Scorpios. My Scorpios love life. King? Researcher. Hold on a minute. Wait a second. Okay, Scorpio. You got spy, architect, repairman. Your person is lost. The person coming into my Scorpio's love life today is lost. <laughs> oh, tell us more. They're a lost captain. They're lost at sea. Let me just tell you right now that this person feels they don't really know where they're headed in life in your love life, in my Scorpio's love life today. They don't know about that right now. Lover, goodness gracious, we were just talking about this. Love, romance, reproduction, infinity. Oh, are you reproducing? Something is ordained, Scorpio. Something is spiritual. Something needs to play out here. Interesting. All right. So this person, Scorpio, is very confused. They are not very good at making choices or decisions. It may also be that you're the one who has to make a choice. Okay. So obviously I'm not telling you to go into a relationship with somebody who's avoiding you or is abusive to you. But what I'm telling you is that if you are in a healthy situation with somebody, this person feels a little bit lost about your relationship right now because they don't know either what to expect with you or they don't know what to do with you. Okay. So that's the vibe. Show me Scorpio in this. This person is not very good at taking charge at this time. No wonder because you're the fool. Ignorance, rashness, impulsiveness. Okay. Because you're very unexpected with this person. You've been acting that way with them or that's how you're going to be behaving. Coach. Yeah. So it does look like there's no plan. The plan with you and this person is kind of sucks. Maybe you feel that someone needs to step into a leadership role in the situation or this person has not been able to take charge of you or the situation, whatever the reason, show me Scorpio with the fool employee, worker, service consultation, and waiter, attendant of hospitality, steward, and cleaner. Scorpio, what are you doing? You don't work for someone. You don't work for them. Yes, you have a power dynamic with this person, okay? There's a power dynamic that's playing out and you may feel that you need to release the energy of doing something for someone or guiding them or taking guidance from them. Something is here that feels like a person needs to figure their own self out. And there's an element of letting people make their own choices and their own mistakes as well, okay? That's what I see, okay? Scorpio's outcome of the love life in December. 
three of wands. So you may feel like something good is coming in that you're waiting six of wands. Yeah, you will be getting a lot of attention. There's a lot of suitors. There's a lot of energy coming your way. It's a change in your love life. My love life for Scorpios. You have a change in the energy, in the frequency. What else for my Scorpio? Temperance. The world is your oyster this month. You have options. I'm going to tell you this right now. There's someone who you've been waiting to hear from or you're waiting to see where something goes with. There could be a trip. There could be travel. There could be something like this. But I am seeing that this is a good time. Yes, more Gemini energy. This could be a Gemini. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's Gemini or you have two people here. Okay, Scorpio. You may be going between paths. Yeah, with the fourth house here, this could be between places, um, two places specifically back and forth. Something is very, very wishy-washy back and forth in your relationship and you also have to make a choice it looks like a lot of patience is going to be needed for your relationship to flourish so december is not the end all be all type of energy december is the month that you have options and you're going to be seeing more potential the way that you need to see it so i feel like be open to that be curious about that kind of allow things to show up let people show up as they are okay what does scorpio like about this person the lost soul over here what does scorpio like Someone can't make up their mind, Scorpio. What are they lost in? Let me see that. Yes. They can't see the future. Maybe you have pause, wait. Someone is pausing and waiting. Three of swords. They feel that their life is not in order. The 10 of pentacles, long-term vision is lacking, is missing. It has to do with family and money. This person doesn't have things figured out. And so it's making them put their relationship on pause, or this is why you are. The pause, the stalemate is because there's lack of guidance. There's lack of stability. There's lack of long-term happening with this person, Scorpio. Okay. So that could be why you're kind of just, uh, you know, you're going with the flow. And I feel like that's the correct thing to do. First and foremost, your health is most important. What does Scorpio like about this person? Five of Cups. You like the Five of Cups? <laughs> Why does Scorpio like the Five of Cups spirit? <laughs> because the fifth house. Again, Gemini again. Pluto in the fifth. Wow. Scorpio, you like that this person and you have something that is not, oh, I'm hearing supremely conventional. You guys have something that is not by the book. It is not completely traditional. It may be outside of the box. Something about this situation makes you expand your worldview or gives you a certain amount of freedom, whether you see it that way or not, which is interesting because it's, it's kind of showing me that you may not, you may be like logically speaking, you may feel kind of disappointed. Okay. Like, oh, it's missing this. It's lacking that. But actually, what are you getting from the situation? What are you getting out of this disappointment? Well, you're getting something unconventional. You're getting freedom with the fool. You're getting, you have an ex explorative energy that you're actually getting from this situation. Okay. So it's almost like, I don't know, Scorpio, do you have fear of commitment or do you, uh, do you like things more unconventional? Are you in a period of your life where you need more freedom? These are the questions that are coming up for me and I'm reading this for you. And yeah, it looks like also you like that this person, is just different from the usual is different from the normal. Okay. So with this Pluto fifth house energy, someone here is willing to change. Someone here is willing to make changes is willing to see things in a different way. You have a power struggle with the person in the reading. And there's something about this that you like, which is interesting. And it's telling me that you like not only the freedom, but also the opportunity of change that maybe somebody is willing to change. What is this that Scorpio likes? 
gang. See what I'm saying? It says that you like the Brotherhood of Shadows. It says that you like the underworld, the transactions, the criminality. Okay, that's what I'm telling you. Repair, restore, restart, and renovate. Exactly. You like that someone is willing to see the problems in your dynamic or that I don't know if you have to use power and control and assert yourself over them or they're doing this to you, but you're highlighting a power struggle between you and a person and you like that it's it's being brought attention to so that it can change. And I'm telling you, it's exactly what I just said. So let's see what you don't like then. What does Scorpio not like about this person and the situation? Oh. <gasps> Scorpio. Oh, this is kind of offensive. Okay. So I have a few things to say here. You know, if it's offensive, so be it. Okay. First of all, you do not like uh, certain conversations that come up between you two. It could make you feel like someone doesn't know what they're talking about. They're not very... <sighs> They're not really learned in a situation. Maybe maybe you feel someone is not intellectual. Maybe you feel you guys just do not like the same things or talk about the same things. Maybe, okay, because the Queen of Swords is very intelligent. And the Five of Pentacles is Mercury, but it's lacking. So you're telling me the communication sucks. You guys have really poor communication styles. They don't match. They don't mesh. But also that maybe you feel intellectually different than this person, which is kind of mean to say. It's a little bit offensive. I'm telling you. And it does look like you lose patience or someone loses patience with the situation with the person. Okay. It may be that you're saying, why have you not fixed this already? If this is the five of pentacles, lost soul captain, why have you not taken charge like this? Why are you not leading this ship? Why are you not steering it in the direction to fix whatever hole is in the boat that is making the entire thing sink? Like there's something about this person that you feel is kind of slow to catch on or behind, or, you know, you guys have to cut each other off for a period of time. There's ignoring going on. You guys ignore one another. That's the type of energy that you're telling me you don't like about the situation. So, okay. So Pisces, North Node, you want to know what the hell this person thinks that they're looking for. You, you're like, get out of the fantasy. Yeah. Remember, we're talking somewhat of like a fantasy energy. You may feel like someone just likes to mess around, play around. This came up in someone's reading. I don't remember whose it was, but I am inclined to believe you may be dealing with that person who was ever reading that was. What else does Scorpio not like? Exactly. Did I not just tell you someone messes around and plays around? Spirit in the building. Okay. Lover. Love, romance, reproduction, and infinity. You may feel like someone's wasting your time. They're not thinking about in, um, intellectual things. They're, they're not either learned or they don't show progress or they haven't yet. I'm telling you that you like that they are changing. So maybe they are actually showing you this, but there's something specific here that you have not liked. Maybe you brought this to somebody's attention. You're wasting my time. You're messing around. You're playing around. You just want to play games all the time. You want to party. You want to, I don't know, play video games. You want to, whatever they're doing, that they're lost you're pointing it out to them okay so you may feel that actually nothing is here for you because somebody's wasting your time and energy scorpio they think it's a game they may think it's funny and it's not funny all right and you're just like no be smarter be smarter that's the energy okay scorpio i'm gonna grab you another deck let's see scorpio's endeavors career finance anything else scorpio's endeavors amusement choices mm, healing again healing yes healing finances physical all that stuff your finances are healing quickly continue to do what's best you'll soon see great results yes you will you will have gained the energy that you need exactly this is the energy you're regenerating in in december and whatever that was that you feel you lost is coming back and now this time you have to show that you're ready for this okay there's something about you showing up like 
you are actually ready this time. I feel like you thought you were, like I said, okay, but something needed an adjustment. So your finances are healing or your career, your work, whatever you do with your time is healing. You've got amusement. It says you have natural talents that you can share with the world. It's time to make money from them while having a good time just being you. Wow. Scorpio, while you're healing, you're going to start realizing you have a lot of strengths. There's certain strengths about you or talents. You have gifts, you have knowledge, maybe you have information. And I feel like you're not realizing what that is just yet, but you're going to be. It's like, what's special about you, Scorpio? What's special about me is a question you should be asking here. What can I do that maybe I don't think is special, but other people do think is special about me? And so maybe interview some of your friends, your loved ones and say, hey, is there something that I have a special quality about myself? that is, is good, is unique. It's good. It's worthy. It's, it's valuable. Do I have a valuable asset or quality to myself? There's something about this that will uh, not only be emotionally fulfilling to you, but also fill your pocketbook. Okay. What's a pocketbook? Fill your pockets, your bank account, your investments. There's something about you that you enjoy. It could be a topic or a hobby you're very good at and you're needing to put yourself into it or you will be figuring this out in the month because this is another stream of income or it's another outlet for you. So remember we talked about you needing an outlet for the energy. It's coming. So you've got choices. There are a lot of opportunities waiting for you. Don't doubt yourself. Trust your instinct in choosing the best possible decision. And I feel like I'm speaking to a Scorpio that actually you're quite well-rounded. You may have various things about you that you're actually quite good at. And it's just a matter of kind of throwing the spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks kind of thing. All right. So maybe, maybe you do want to start doing something. We're talking amusement. So to, to me, this could be something that of course floats your boat, makes you happy, but also social media is a form of entertainment. It's a form of amusement. Maybe you're taking your stuff to social media. Okay. For example, explore things that you like, that you're good at. And I feel like you have to recognize what you're good at. What are you good at? Think back to when you were a child. Wait, did I say this to you in a recent reading? I feel like I did. Think back to when you were a child. What were you good at? What did your parents or um, adults, guardians, teachers, mentors, what did they tell you you were good at? What did you shine at? Okay, because I feel like that's worth looking, taking a look at here because usually a lot of times, we forget what we liked. We forget what we were just naturally blessed at. Okay. So this could be that something that you enjoyed Scorpio, take a peek at that. And your finances are healing. It's telling me that in December, you're going to realize you have a marketable trait and talent that can bring you some money, Scorpio, not bad. Okay. So let's wrap this up for my Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? What is the next good thing coming to my Scorpio? Four of pentacles, the six of swords. The next good thing is not feeling uh, cheap about yourself, about how you see yourself and your value. It's not feeling like you have to close yourself off, that you have to shut yourself down to exist, to make other people maybe find you more, more tolerable is what I'm hearing. That's very interesting, Scorpio. You've, you've cut something off of yourself that you needed to not do. And the six of pentacles, here we go. Whatever you are stingy with, be it your own self-worth, your own self-value or your money, it's time to make the energy start moving. It's going to move. You're going from the four to the six. Things are going to be changing. And then the seven, goodness. Wow. Something that you made an investment in or an investment that you are making is is going to pay off. And this is a blessing for you. So if you felt you didn't have enough to share wisdom, information, money, even sharing of your own personality, if you felt you were not good enough, didn't have enough, didn't have nothing, you have it here enough to be generous. Being generous 
is coming into you because you're going to have enough energy and resources to do so in the month. And this is good because in the past, you have not felt this is what I'm getting here to my Scorpio today. Okay, can I catch an advice card for December for my Scorpio? Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Okay, so that makes sense. Did I say July? Was it July? Huh, yeah. July is the beginning of Leo season. And so this could be what, ha yes, we started the reading. Your July was about confidence. Your July was about a new beginning here. Here it is again. Your confidence is being restored, Scorpio. Okay. Let me look something up. Yes, the full moon in Leo is coming in. This is why this is culminating. So I believe it should come in because it happens every six months. We'll have like a new moon and then the full moon of that. So the new moon happens during or around that season. So Leo season, new moon, right? So July-ish is when it was. And then six months later with the opposite sign is usually when it culminates. So this is your culmination point of that energy. So now your reading makes so much sense to me. Okay, so I hope it makes sense to you too. If not, come back, come back to it later. You'll get it. You will be like, oh my gosh, this is so true. Um, so we're talking Aquarius energy. Oh goodness. So Pluto's moving into Aquarius. Yeah. It's going to be a heavy duty energy. Wow. There's a big shift happening here. So around Aquarius season, okay. Is when that full moon is coming in. And this is your culmination point from, from that first reading we did for you. Not first reading, the first reading of this energy, I want to say, because this this feels exactly like that, but it's like built upon, if that makes sense. So confidence, Scorpio, advice for my Scorpio. A new romantic cycle begins. What do you need to release? A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse damn Scorpio that's what I'm telling you this is the culmination point let me check something too okay so the next full moon eclipse is a bit ways out but okay so you have conclusions within reach Scorpio with your new romantic cycle and something that you need to release we kind of talked about this but I also feel like this is about you stepping into some sort of confident energy that you may have forfeited and I feel like Pluto moving is going to be affecting you I do I do that is your energy Pluto is your planet so it feels like it's opposing the confidence energy for my Scorpio goodness let's see please yeah it's me versus we. So that's, wow. That's exactly. Can I get a card for my Scorpio? Oh, creativity. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You're creating. That was the energy also in July. So I am the ocean of creative energy. I give birth to what exists within me. What are you birthing into existence? Okay. What are you birthing in? And I feel like first and foremost, it's you and yourself into a new role. And wow, exactly. My authentic self in all circumstances, the saint of authenticity, perpetua. Be real with yourself, okay? Exactly. I feel like there's something you need to be honest, not only about your weaknesses, but your strengths, because this is the month that is going to make more sense to you. That at this time, whatever your weakness is, you're turning it into a strength. And at this time, whatever you thought was a weakness is actually a strength. Goodness, you had a reading called that. Oh my gosh, I just realized there's a reading called not a weakness, but a strength. And I don't recall the details. I recall the title. That's what this feels like for my Scorpio today. Thank you so much, Scorpio. Enjoy your month.